Hello and welcome to this continuing live streaming, live coding series on creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. In this series we've been porting a website over from Drupal, it's Drupal 7, for the Western Friend organization. We're working in Python, Django with a little bit of bootstrap and a sprinkle of JavaScript where needed. The current app we're working on is the community page. More or less, there's a few um, components here. We've uh, created an events app for listing upcoming calendar events. We have a contacts app that's being threaded into this community page, a few of the top level contacts, which may, they should have some sub contacts, here we are. And Quaker organizations, which are another type of contact, we've got a listing page here. So we've been working over this, on this for a few sessions now, sort of from the middle to the top, now to the bottom. Uh, what we're gonna work on today are two more components in this second row here. Uh, all three of these blocks in this block on the second row are relating to our contact model. They're basically organizations. This second row though, these are more akin to resources where they're, uh, they've got a title, some sort of descriptive text, and a link. So we've got a, a generic, I would say, resource content type for both of these and the way we can sort of distinguish them or put them into the appropriate pages will be uh, what Drupal calls a taxonomy. I think we'll just call it uh, like a field with two uh, loud values, an online worship type and a more or less directory. These are all directories of Quaker organizations. So let's start on that feature. I think the page, uh, so what we'll have to do is create these um, sort of buckets, the two con the content type but also an index page for both of these. Basically with the non-profit organizations, we have an index page here. For calendar events, we have an index page that follows the same basic guidelines, basic layout. And I think these other two will have an index page. So everything's going to be consistent. I am writing pretty specific code. It's not yet generic and until I get my mind around how the basic implementation is going to be. For right now, I'm just going to write very specific code. I'm learning Wagtail as I go. So in the community section, the community app, we'll come back to the templates in a minute, but we have models. And essentially all we have here is a community page model, which is this. And there's only one instance of the community page. allowed because it's an index type page. Now what it really well didn't define is a community um, resource model and we'll inherit from the wagtail page model just to do just to be consistent. It'll have an intro text. So title, intro, and URL field. So let's, so let's copy this much. I could just call this resource. I 
believe this should be required, but I'm just going to be on the safe side for now. And then we'll have a type. Uh, resource type. To avoid that. Clash. And what we're going to have to do is look at the the contact model just to see how we handled the choices. I think we, it was pretty straightforward. The choices for contact type, let me close up a couple of these things as we go. Yeah, it's just a list of tuples. But let's go ahead and copy this. Contact type choices. Tried to do it a little bit more, um, I don't know, properly, so to speak, with an enum, but that didn't work out, so I'm just gonna keep it simple and stick with the uh, Django docs. And their example uses a list of tuples. So, what do we got? Online worship, I guess. Directory and not to be confused with our community directory. It's the Western Friend directory. And we can add to this list in the future. So resource type has got it. Copy and paste error. They'll have to migrate this. Register with the Wagtail admin and think about whether there's some sort of optimizations we can do. But basically, community resource page I believe it needs to be defined in the community page. So, parent page. is just well a string since I'm in uh, when I'm in the same module I was wondering if I could just refer directly to the class but I'll just use this string Nothing will happen yet until I register this with the Wagtail admin. And we do that in Wagtail hooks. Uh, for the community, we haven't registered, huh? We haven't registered anything with the Wagtail hooks. Because we only have this um, one instance of the community page. So it doesn't need its own top level menu item. But if I hop over the, the uh, Wagtail admin. Starting to think uh, how to organize this a little bit better. We're getting a little, our menu's getting a little bit tall. Images, documents, those came with the and settings and pages. Those came out of the box of Wagtail. But now we have contacts, events, 
departments. Departments is related to the magazine, and but it could be a cross-cutting way of grouping content. Uh, events and contacts are part of the community subs section of the site, more or less. And so could the, I mean, community resources. That's basically also part of that. And I'm trying not to um, duplicate things too much and, and sort of silo stuff off because we also have this library. But this library is more, it's a multimedia library, more relating to specific publications, but also websites. I think these community resources are pretty specific, that they wouldn't f fall under the more general, broad um, bucket of our me media library. So I'll go ahead and um, continue down this path where I'm headed. And of course, I'm going to have this reviewed. This is just a prototype at this point, but we're trying to get out of the uh, prototype phase by July. We want to actually launch, launch the site around July, so not a lot of runway. And several pretty big features left to build. Okay, so let's go ahead and register this with the Wagtail admin. So I'll need a couple of imports. Model admin and model admin register, which is just this line of code here. So in the community, create a new file by convention called Wagtail. I don't think this is a requirement, wagtailhooks.py. Because what happens in here is just like uh, the admin.py might just be a convention where you register things by using these kind of register functions. But what we're going to do, and I need to import my model, so community. should be a community resource. I'm torn whether it should be resource or community resource. I'll leave it with community resource. Community resource. Community resource. Resources. by title, show the title and resource type, allow the title, um, maybe intro text could be searchable, but I believe that would uh, probably be something handled better by the search index, which I need to actually specify that this should be an indexable model I'll do that in just a moment. The list filter should be resource type. Now, this is kind of a cool feature that Wagtail gives us for free. Basically, when you've defined a filter um, by, for example, an enum field with some specific values or just a text string field, uh, even date fields, though, uh, it'll give you these little filtering widgets where you can, let's see, there's more yearly meetings. You know, you can filter down your content and we can say so north so okay it resets it when you search but then yeah anyway it's pretty nice model admin register community resource model admin and we should see something right away it'll be a mail icon right around here if it worked correctly We have an error, no. F5, control shift R. Community resource singular. I ran my migrations. Okay, I'm going to 
Let me see sometimes I nothing stand jumping out at me what I might have done wrong, so let me double check. Refreshing works. Yeah, there it was. So sometimes you just gotta stop the server and start it again. Um, if I go to our style guide, let's take a look. I'd like to pick a better icon for that. Icons. This is another nice feature that comes with Wagtail out of the box. Style guide for its admin site. More or less, uh, community resources or links. So. Just go ahead and do that. And that should take a bit of effect right away. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Now, this is one thing that we can do is sort of group these into a subsection. That might be a pretty cool thing. Uh, but let me, just while I remember, get that search indexing in place. I believe we've defined indexing such a way search fields and I'm kind of a mess I don't know if you know these sort of properties should be defined above the methods or uh, overrides or I don't know really quite how to organize the, the code at this point but what we do want to so search by intro and that should be it. All right, let's commit these before we get too far ahead. So it's basically defining this whole community resource. Register community resources. Okay, so before I fiddle around with this uh, menu, it's not too bad, it's not out of hand right now. Let's work on the template a little bit. Let's get a couple resources added. Oh, I'm not running. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't import that. So, community doesn't have it. The model is for the contact does. Search index. You gotta watch your imports. All right. So it's a wagtail. Do these alphabetically. Wagtail search. So fix the import. No community resources have been created or what created yet. One of the following must be created before you can add any community resources. Okay, so community page should be the parent there. So what I'm thinking is when you're in the model module, you can refer directly to the model. We definitely have a community page. I can navigate to it right here. Starting the server real quick again. Sometimes it, I don't know when. No community resources have been created yet. So one of the following must be created before you can add any community resources, and it's just not finding the class community page. It's definitely community. Oh, 
Let me look how we did this contact model. Parent page types. Did I get the... Uh, Just copy this, see if there's some kind of typo that I'm just not even aware of. And we don't want to add these resources uh, below contacts necessarily. Maybe I had a typo in the module name or something. Okay, and then the unindent. I thought my linter would have picked that up. Okay, this is weird, dude. What if I go to my community page? Add child page. It only lets me add a contact. Did I forget my migrations? Couldn't have. I think I need to migrate the. Nope. Okay, this is weird. The contact is a page model. Community page, I mean, is a page model. Definitely let me add one. Oh, I know what the problem is. You have to do it. It's a two-way thing. Okay. This has gotten me before. I have to define the sub-page types and the parent page types. Or I might just be able to do it either or. So let me think about this. Maybe by convention I should define parent-child relationships first. Whoops. But you have to do it both ways because now this will allow it as a child page, but this doesn't have any strict uh, or restrictions on which parent page. Uh, that could save me some grief in another collection. Oops. K U K U save. N now it just there's only one place I can add it, so it shouldn't even ask me to be honest. But let me see. Now it doesn't ask me. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got a title. And I have to tell it which fields to display. So we want an intro. find these display fields before the uh, before the parent page constraints in the search index what else do we put in here class name I guess if you wanted to display full width you put in class name as full let's try it without it and see what it looks like If we refresh, we've got a couple more 
fields visible. I'm thinking an intro or description. Hmm. I believe description would be more appropriate here. Intro is good for a page. Description is good for like a specific resource. Let me just rename this. Change the migration. Make the migration. That's cool that I just found that for me and I didn't have to do anything fancy. I think at the end of all this prototyping, I'm just going to squash all of these migrations down, delete the old ones. I've done, you know, made mistakes, done experiments. Okay, so we got three fields. Let's get a couple of these descriptions over here. Oh, you know what we're missing. Resource type. Now for this, we shouldn't have to run the migration. non-existing field. All right, so let's take a look here. Let's just grab a couple of these. So we'll have two buckets, Western friend. And I'm not really gonna give a specific kind of field where we call that out. I think we can handle it like that. That's great. Copy, link address. And publish. Now I haven't defined specific templates for this new model. So if I view live, it's gonna complain. I'll have to think whether or not, I mean, I suppose we should do that just so it doesn't seem like a bug, which is more or less is a bug. It's an omission. All right. Welcome to the chat stream. I've got a couple of um, Twitch extensions going. I got a Twitch bot with some commands you can run. And I've got a couple of, um, oh, I think the Twitch bot should be in there. Yeah, maybe it's not running. Phantom bot. It says it's connected. But in any case, I got a Twitch highlighter. So like line 84, you can highlight a line of code or multiple lines of code uh, if there's something you want to point out or a typo or omission, anything like that. So uh, I'll figure out why my Twitch bot's not working in a little bit. I thought it had been working. Maybe if I just restart it. it seems like it's connected. So the IRC, maybe the commands, da, uh, um, exclamation commands should be the right thing. Okay. There was a way to dismiss those highlights. Just kind of getting this stuff set up. All right, we'll come back to it. None of these seem to be related to the Twitch highlighter extension. Okay, let's add a couple more. Loman, really beautiful place if you ever have a chance to visit. Ben Loman, California. Let's grab this text. It's an online workshop. Publish. Boom. Oh, validation errors. 
Slug is already in use. Oh, this is interesting. The slug is not relevant relative to. Let me see. What did I do? There it is. Uh, okay. Yeah, community slash Ben Loman Quaker Center. Is it contact the slug collided? I'll have to fix that in a minute. Uh, but that's good I found that. Hmm. I don't know in Wagtail how to specify. That the slug should be generated in a different uh, like sub path. That's kind of strange. Well, let me just leave this page. Because if I, s if I take a look at this one, how do I view it live? Just to hover the, over the link, it says uh, community slash Western friend, you are here. <laughs> okay. If I go to a contact, and I edit it, and I say live. Okay, it is. They're both using the community. Oh, wait. Let's see. Community prefix. Wondering how that happened. to sort out why the contacts are colliding with the community routes. This is not sure what I did. I had to find it as a custom model. Maybe if I reset my database, this will be fixed. Or it could be that it's where the page is defined, actually, now that I think about it. In other words, this community page has children, page, uh, child pages. Contact can be defined. This is exactly what it is, under the community page. It's a hierarch hierarchical page uh, model, hierarchical content model. And it just at each level of the hierarchy takes the path. Yep. This is interesting, good to know about. I don't know if it's the direct solution for this particular situation, but it looks like when you define a, a model, page model, like events, 
Then you can have subroutes. So that could be pretty cool. And in fact, we do have this events section. I should take a look at that. Routable page mix in. Provides a convenient way for a page to respond on multiple sub URLs with different views. Hmm. It's not what we're looking for in this specific instance. I just wanted to find the prefix, the route prefix. If page URL is like a reverse of method or something I can override. Customizing URL patterns for a page model. Page get URLs request method will not typically be called directly, but may be overridden to define custom URL routing for a given page model. It should return a tuple. A site ID. appreciate an example man now I don't know I'll have to kind of file this as a bug until I figure it out I want to continue working but this is gonna be a problem really soon page rendering inline models working with pages friendly model names page creates at ordering uh, this is a problem I had yesterday. You can't just use the ordering. This page enforces ordering query sets by path. Let's apply new ordering explicitly when it's constructing query set. Okay, so that's what I ended up doing is just the order by, but I was wondering why that didn't work, that ordering. <laughs> Custom page managers. Okay, well, in the meantime, actually, I figured it out, what I need to do. Um, essentially, what we've got, what we're constructing here, or we're working towards this index page, is going to list a bunch of, um, in this case, worship. Ah, oh, man, it's going to be a pain, though. And in this case, just directories. So these index pages can be a parent page for, instead of the community page, our community resources can belong to community resource index. Really, contacts should be part of belonging to contact index. It's a little verbose and a little bit of a setup necessary to get started, but I think that'll give us cleaner separation, preventing these collisions. Okay, and the lesson learned there. So let me think how we're gonna go forward here. When I display these panels in the um, template, right now I'm just kind of hard coding it. Community. 
Okay, so if I, if I take a look, I need to commit some stuff here in a second. The templates, the community page, and we look for uh, the link to Quaker organizations, view events, or any of these. These are just hard-coded links right now. It's not the coolest way of doing it. I gave it a name here. Quaker organization list has been. Ah, oh, great. This is unanticipated difficulty. view it just let me refine the query set and define the template let me take a look here so I can have, I can parameterize these these URLs. But when I use the wagtail page model, I don't define the URLs unless I did something like this, a routable page mixin. Hmm. So maybe this is what I need to learn about. Because if we look at the difference, Between these two URLs, it's community slash Intermountain Yearly Meeting. Hmm. But these page titles are part of the URL. Geez, this is the slug comes from the content itself, so I can't really. This might work. But I won't know if it's if this argument represents a title or a in the case so in the case of the because if you get a meeting it's a page title. But in the case of Quaker organizations, it's actually models you know it's a choice and it's even following different uh, styles using snake case so I think I'm going to go back to what I was considering is that I'll need to define an explicit index page for each of these. A community index community directory index page, an online word up index page. I'll override the context and in the query string I'll return community resources of the relevant type. And I'll constrain mm, no, I can't do it that way because, oh yes, I could. It'll be confusing though. The, oh man. <laughs> if I just had a community resource index page, then you could put all the community resources there and it would be really simple. You just add a new resource index page and add a new one or more resources there. But getting back into the template, then okay, so let's, let me think if I can do that. I could use a URL pattern for the community uh, resources index page, routable page mix-in. 
the route parameter for that would be the resource type. Boom. Okay. Okay. That might just work. Ooh, this is all new stuff. This is so new. Alrighty then. Let's try it out. So let me just close some of these things that I'm not using. Custom page manager. I'll have to remember that. Routable page mixing. Let's take a look. Do you say routable or routable? Should put a poll in chat. Can I do polls? My bot is broken. Can't even do polls. I enabled the polls and then they stopped working. Maybe that's what broke it. Anything I can commit here. Let's see. Most of this is legit. I do want to migrate to the description field. These panels are good to go. The parent page types subject to pay, uh, change, but wouldn't need a migration and the index. So I'll, this is a step forward. I'll commit all of these. Every, every step forward where you have you know, some sort of confidence, keeping in mind you're working in a branch. So you could throw all this away if you need. Uh, yeah, I would just commit, commit that work. This is also a large commit. I shouldn't have done so many things. Should really be like two or three commits. Okay. Let's add this. Changing a bot setting, seeing if something happens in a little bit. Should send a message to the chat, stream chat in a minute. All right, routable, routable. Route 66, that's a highway. But routes, I think, are what you say on, on the internet when there are network paths involved. Network routes, settings, base. This goes into installed apps somewhere. I guess just alphabetically. Well, all right, the basics. To use rootable. <clears throat> Excuse me, page mixing you need to make your class inherit from both Wagtail, Rootable page, oh, okay, and page, boom. Hey, Recon Questio says, hey, what window manager is this? <clears throat> Some tailing WM. Uh, this is KDE. <clears throat> is it displaying all right on the stream? Should be all right. All right, so what we're gonna do is come some copy and paste. No, I don't need a copy and paste, come on. I'm closing the parts I'm not working with. This will be a community resource index page. Community resource index page. Reconquestio, what kind of a uh, window manager or operating system do you use? Do you, it sounds like you've got some experience with Linux. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got my copy and pasty all mixed up. -y. Give me a little bit of room here. 
<clears throat> Kidoki. Didn't define some view methods and decorate them with Wagtail Contrib. We can quest yo says, yeah, I'm on Arch with I3. So it's some KDE window manager. Did I get it? Yeah, I'm running KDE. Uh, yeah, my friend Conrad at work uses I3. He did, he used to use I3, but then he just went flat. Uh, regular old chocolate Ubuntu gnome. I think he's been pretty happy with it. But yeah, the I3 seems pretty good too. Now that's a tiling window manager, right? And maybe, I don't know if KDE is strictly tiling it. It shouldn't be. I can kind of wiggle things around a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but on the stream or whatever. What that looks like on the stream, I guess. Just resizes it a little bit. Oh, I can see why you think it's tiling. Uh, actually, the tiling is being done by OBS. When you design, uh, I can show you my OBS real quick. Shouldn't be anything secret here, I believe. It's all it's all legit. Yeah, it's okie dokie. Hunky dory. If I add a window, sorry if the thing went black real quick. I'm going to add a window capture. And it squeezed it all the way to the left, but basically, can you see that? What's my live dashboard look like? All right, whoa, <laughs> it's pretty meta. But uh, <clears throat> this little red box uh, lets you constrain a window. Oh yeah, because I'm actually using, I've got my windows split, so that I have multiple things going on. So essentially, that's why it looks like it's tiling, because the OBS is constraining. Um, with the aspect ratio of the window. So, okay, back out of metal, Metaville. Let me just delete that scene. Yes. <laughs> okay, I hope that wasn't too nauseating, but now you kind of get it. Yeah, OBS is pretty cool. There's uh, actually a lot to it. I, I'm just learning as I go all this stuff. Okay, so it looks like we got a community resource index page. Now, <clears throat> I'm wondering, this looks like it's just going to return more or less. Let me think for just a second. More or less, these are views, view functions, it says right there. Brilliant. Does that mean I have to write a function based view to render this? Good grief. I think I'm out of my depth. I'll probably have to read up on this, but I'm gonna give it a try. Ah, oh, man. All to avoid this collision. And the fact that my collection has uh, multiple types of resources. This is not gonna be the best thing anyway. I'll have to, at least in the view function, I'll have to switch from snake case to kebab case. That's one thing. I think there's a slugify function that'll, that can do that. Or actually kebab case is snake case. Because then I'll have to get a query set and I'm not even comfortable or familiar that much with Django uh, function views. I think they're simpler than class-based views. Yeah, 
just glue this. All right, anybody familiar with Django, uh, I would greatly appreciate some help here. But I'm, I think I'm zeroing in on it. And this is more or less stating what the documentation says. I will just give them my updoots for helping me get the step closer. All right, Arch, what do you think about Arch? Uh, it's pretty good, isn't it a rolling release basically? Or can't you have multiple versions of software even installed? Seems like a pretty manual uh, sort of DIY OS to me though, I'm not sure. The people who use Arch that I know are usually more like advanced and willing to like, want, you know, smaller control, granular, more granular control. All right, so we got this rootable mix in view function. Just get some boilerplate, I don't need the multiple. Sources and then D, mm, which is one or more characters, isn't it? Regex D. Where's the regex explainer? Digits. Oh, definitely don't want that. I want uh, W, I believe, right? W. Yes. Uh, what about kebabs? What about hyphens? Any word character, alphanumeric and underscore. Now, let me take a look here. Our slugs are using, what's one? bad case I want to be consistent with that well then you just put one or more I don't want it to be followed by I want it to be a set of oh boy so anything in Maybe numbers, so I'll probably just and there's lowercase letters. And I want to. I believe this is the capture group, right? And can you name it, or do you name it in your function request? Let's see, how does that work? Uh, come back this far. Got two of those open. Probably don't need. Nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it open. So in your view function, boy, this is really. Well, in any case. I think just whatever you return here, I can put my debugger in there. Or just print. Ports. Contra Broadbolt. So I 
think if I just go to community slash resources resources <laughs> come on chat where are you at on that like I can't even remove these highlights they're there forever Twitch highlighter plugin. This is a cool plugin though. Hey, let me edit the settings. My name right there. Hello, Twitch highlighter in house. There we are. Ah, there we go. Now I can remove them. Cool. So yeah, feel free to highlight. Totally. That's why it's there. It's pretty easy to do. You just say line. The line number in this case was like 106. And then I give it a really stressful. That. And I'm like, what? Risk or reverse as it is. Oh boy. Then, you know, once I've like addressed it, and it, it'll stay open across these um, tabs here and stuff. But anyway, no obligation. It's all good, and it doesn't actually go away. That was false, false advertisement. Saving my thing. So let's just try it out. Let's see if this works. Hope this works. Uh, slash something. something. There's something on the wing. Oh, not that one. Okie dokie. Not found community resources. Something. Maybe this is namespaced. No. Oh, this is sort of. Maybe my red tracks is going on. What if I just. Take it off for a second. Maybe that's the problem. Community slash resources. R E S O U R C E S. Trailing slash R E S. No, nothing, nothing at all. Do I need to restart? Run server again? My hot beverage is getting cold. Is this not a middleware? They said put it in installed apps, routable page. up I have to have an instance of this this is a guess but it would make sense in which case Oops. It'll be namespaced in community.
This is like a lot of tacit knowledge here. But I was thinking about what I was going to say and not what I was going to type. So this won't work still. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. Res rollers is. But if I add, if I go to the community page, ooh, there even used to be a little button there. I go to the home page and I go to the community page. Where did my button go? Not <clears throat> Let me Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then from the community page. Sub page types. Community resource index page. There might be a better view for that since it's not <coughs> sort of. It's a routable page, routable page. I'm just going to never say that word again. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. Yep, there it goes. Uh, resources. Res, res, res. Yep, spelled it right. View live. Alrighty then. Hey, look though. It's missing this template. Page. Which is cool. That is going to wire that up for me. I was, I was kind of concerned about that. I didn't know what level of view function I would need to write. It looks like I, uh, I might just override the context. Let's see what happens. Community. Essentially, I'll grab all of this and delete everything except that because it has a title field. I haven't really been using these classes, so I'm not sure if I need to define them all the time. Okay, resources. Nice. That worked. So if I get in my function and debug it, Oh, that is where you pass in the named. Okay, okay. Resource type. Print resource type. Uh, but the print. Where is it? Where are you going to print it? I don't know. And then that resource type was the regex, which I whoops, completely blasted away. Should end up with a trailing slash, I believe. So, testing. I think the resources path is already there too. If I just do this. Just give me a clue. Give me an example. Yeah, they're not including a leading slash. So that's a good start. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Return none instead. All right, cool. Oh, man. I hope I can get 
through this. Did it print anything? All right, a view function should return render. So render, oh man, what am I doing? Django shortcuts. Response. Community. What is it? Oh. All right. Oh crap. Control A, Control C. Let's just try it without any uh, context. I think it doesn't really need it right now. It will in a moment, though, if this works, if this works. Undefined variable response request. All right, this is gonna render two response. That makes sense. Okay, so is this the correct thing? Are you happy? not sure actually I think it is working actually yeah okay I need just a quick break I'll be right back I'm gonna start some tea water as well
Okay, I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me. Got a whole nother pot of tea. I'll try to improve this stream a little bit, having a little intermission uh, music there so I can actually take a break during stream, these short breaks at least. Okay, so we're at almost an hour, 20 minutes. We're getting close though. I can feel it. I think it's gonna work. I just need to get some context. A query set back into the template. Oh, look at this. It's gonna let me do anything I want here. Oh man. Okay, so what's a quick way to convert from kebab case to snake case in Python? Slugify? Slugify. Maybe that's one. Or just Stack Overflow. Kebab. Tool snake. Elegant. Camel case. Yeah, a lot of people want to do camel case. I can see that. I can. It's pretty common. String case. Camel case, lowercase, wow. Snake case. Does it handle? Kebab case. Spinal case. Oh, they call it spinal case. Does it take spinal case? Is it up to date? being maintained in other words well 20 2018 let me see if this, I mean it wouldn't surprise me if Django has something s dot replace oh metal storm thank you you rock of course it's got to be standard library stuff right <laughs> uh, does that work in Python pardon my new business but uh, yeah I'm not ashamed of it. Every day, right? Learn something new every day. So we have spinal. Right? What do you say? Spinal or kebab case? Kebab. And this is a total guess. Ah, uh, it did work, yeah. <laughs> and this is supposed to be an underscore. It is. For some reason, my terminal is like cutting off the bottom pixels there. <laughs> okay, Metal Storm points to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't have points set up in this channel yet, but that's I, I do appreciate when the when chat when people in chat help out. And I got to be completely honest. Um, there have been some things, points where I have been stumped in following a tutorial or something. Absolutely no clue how to get forward, like hit my head against the wall and Chaz come in and said, oh, you just need to put parentheses around that or something, literally saving the day. So I, I do appreciate that stuff. I don't have to get another import, although this is cool. It's Python string case. I'll, I'll try to keep it in mind. Okay. So back to our view function. The first thing we want to do is grab that resource type. I'm assuming that it's going to be the first, basically this, which means a capture group actually. This should be the first argument because it can't print none. If it defaults to none, of course it can't print it. What does this work? Whoops. Dang it. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. And just right off the bat, let's try replace. Um, hyphens. Because I'm going to do some hard coding. I'm not ashamed of it. 
try not to do it. And I might figure out a way not to do it. But probably not today. So yeah, anything I want here, to, it did work. I've got to map these. the way they're defined in the model, in the contact model. No, no, no. In this model. Online worship or community directory. Okay, let's do this. I'll try to figure out a way to not hard code those. Um, But I think I'm just going to put some static HTML in the template just to get to review this Wednesday. We need this to be ready for Wednesday. where a try catch will be good. So I'll just copy this. And I'll need that HTTP 404 handler. We have to get This is where black is going to, I think, step in. Yeah, black took care of the formatting for my community resources, though. I believe those are community resources, yeah, of course. Singular model names are single. Uh, app names are plural. All right, so if we can't get anything, so I guess yeah, just the same thing. Community resource does not exist. Uh, the problem is. They're looking for a specific. I'm not sure it's going to throw that error. They're looking for a specific primary key. I'm looking for a query set. I will just throw it on. This is pretty sloppy, but 404. And more or less, I couldn't find them. And we'll just populate a context dictionary. Yeah, and black didn't catch that one. That's funny. What the heck? Maybe it's in the return statement? What are we at? Character column width. 126. Hmm. All right, so this now should be behaving properly. Page not found, 404. Could not find resources. Good, good, good. But. It was online worship. We do have some resources. Come on. 
what do they look like? So I think it's just because they're pages. So they should have oof. Not iterable. Ah, right, right. Okay. This is because I'm again getting a single one filter. This should return a query string. No definition for filter. Well, yeah. Whereas the find returns a single document. Yes. Oh, so good, so good. Ah, uh, this is still not going to necessarily resolve my name, uh, my um, collision. All oh, right, the way I was going to do that was. Twofold. So first, get rid of those resources. Where are they? A menu item's gone. So I have to delete that one. Add community resource. Community resources index, add child page, community resource. Oh yeah, man, this is brilliant. Okay, so now I can add one that collides. Fetch from the original website. It was Ben Loman Quaker Center. Speak much. I don't practice speak. No collision, yay. Because community resources have been on my Quaker Center. Oh yeah. Oh man, I was so nervous that that was not gonna work. It's gonna allow child pages. Hmm, probably don't want hierarchical resources here, so let's see. Oh, come on. For some reason there's a little inconsistency here. Parent page types, child page types. Anyway. That, hey. Uh, shouldn't even show it in the UI, but it does. Sub, subtypes. Page. Page subtypes? No. Some page types. Jeez. This is why consistency matters. It should be child page types. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I can just get off my high horse. Because it wasn't intuitive to me. My snowflake self. All right, good to go. Cleans it up. Um, mom, 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 mom. Now let's, I can close my reject spurt. I can pretty much close this. I got to the error view, maybe I'll have to touch base on. Uh, let's, let's try to approximate this. Let me think here. 
Mm, actually, I'm going to go with consistency as convention. And that means we're going to use a markup that's consistent with the events page and someplace else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Is there anything I can commit now? Let's see models. Some stuff in models happened. What did I do? I don't want uh, community resources to go directly on the community page because that'll break things. So I need to clean that up. That was where I had this conflicts to begin with. Community page. Subpage types. Nothing. What? Uh, dingle bells? No community resources, but they can go under here. All right. And just for good order, sort of. Since this is a child of community resource index page, I'm just going to put it in the file in that order. So community resource index page right there. I can kind of follow the uh, logic. Same thing from here. I can kind of see it right above there. Okay, cool. Parent page types. Everything else looks good. View function for the I don't know, need to be too verbose. Resources, fine here. Hey, what's up? LV2, learn for life. What text editor is this? Visual Studio Code, yes. Okay, so uh, I will add the editor command to my chat bot, which is may or may not be working right now. Yeah, I'm using VS Code with a couple of extensions. I got a Twitch highlighter extension that allows you to Highlight a line of code on the page, which is pretty cool. One or more lines of code. And some specific stuff for Python and such like that. It can handle my Python environment, Python debugging. Pretty cool. Let me add in one of those keywords. Keywords? No. Extra. Custom commands. How do I do that? Settings. Commands. Oh, there they are. Custom. Add command. Editor. See if I kill my bot and restart it, this command may work. I'll try it. I'm new to botting, to Twitch botting. You know, I'm almost inclined to just use one of the ones that's like hosted, but it would be really cool to use a uh, one of these open source ones. So. I can just get it to work. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so the editor command works now. There's the commands. Cool beans. Yeah, thanks for the uh, sort of suggestion for the code. 
Oh yeah, now it's um, catching up on my instructions for highlighting a line of code. All right, cool. Does anyone here know how to do uh, line breaks, like new lines in um, Twitch messages? Okay, I'll get back to the code in the meantime. Level two, learn for life. What have you been up to today? Have you been working on any projects? All right, so let's go ahead and get this um, copy and pasty. Oh, no, no, commits, commits. Refresh. For my diffing, I like to see these side by side. Did I not save that? Good grief. There we are, I just have to stage those commits. Oh, come on. Community, resource, index page, right? I see it right here. If I unstage everything and then stage, well, I just want to commit my models. Doesn't it see that? is not a command. Well then. Add the roundable page app. I'll just have to, there it is, good. Yes, I do actually want to stage it. close to, well, we're at one hour, 40 minutes. One hour, 41 minutes. Let's try to wrap this up. Oh, you know what? I was probably looking at a diff uh, from a previously open tab. So I have to close the tabs open. They don't refresh the diffs. Okay. Little nuances. Yeah, here's my BS code settings. In case you're curious. So if I go to the events, I can copy pastey. Cause this, um, this is a pretty nice markup. We don't really need the date alignment and stuff like that, but uh, it's, a template. it's a list group. Well, highlight matching bracket, geez. Matching tag. So the list group needs to be outside. And description, title, date, description. Now we 
probably don't need, oh, we definitely don't need fields that don't exist. So website does, we're using consistent terminology so I can just kind of copy pasty and the whole things that work out. And I believe that resource description should be a rich text field. Oh yeah, it just works. And the link worked, yes, Quaker Center. That place is really a great place. One of my favorite places, I haven't been there in over five years, but yeah, it's a great place. Oh man, I was worried that this was just gonna be not going to work basically once I hit that first glimpse into the uh, routable page mix in is seemed to overall make a first when I hit this you know the namespace collision I was like what am I going to do there uh, this looked a little bit complicated but then it also was like a glimmer of hope that it has it built in and you know it just uses conventional stuff I'm not deeply familiar with um, Django but I've read just enough and done a couple tutorials so I recognized the view function and the documentation for Django you know pulled it through I'll have to do some QA on this I could spend just maybe about 10 or 15 minutes on QA adding some missing templates trying a couple of scenarios and the other thing is we need to add the uh, hard-coded templates here until I figure out a better way to do it Just want to get a demo. Get a demo ready. So what did we change here? Oh yeah, so just add the. Uh... And I'm starting to use this card markup in so many places that there's got to be a way to, I believe, make it more generic. When you have some data in context, entities. Although I can't quite, I had to delete a couple lines here because of the date was missing. So mm. I could probably make this generic and share it between templates. So let's go over to the community template. The community page. Now the second row, I think we just reason. So this is dented one step too far. Online worship. everywhere and we'll have to figure out real quick I'm just going to preview it I'm hard coding these texts into the template I don't want to do that I'll probably expose those as an editor editable field in a while but let's just take a look at it the links are going to be broken but now we've got a grid we got our grid back up it's cleaner cleaner grid because I think well, I put them in rows for one. I think this is just all in one thing. It's just kind of wrapping them. And Bootstrap 4 also, I think, just comes with um, sort of like a grid, the tighter grid layout. What do you call that? Uh, masonry? No, it's not quite a masonry. Anyway, things are really like well aligned in Bootstrap 4. So yeah, this is probably user error. Not, maybe not necessarily Bootstrap error. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm wondering is do I have a name, a page URL, a page URL for? I don't have a page URL right now. Hmm. 
I could add a panel here on the edit page. That says, like as a page chooser, community resources selector. Man, for now, I just, uh, I hate to do this. My intuition says I should just try a little bit harder on this and I can maybe work something out. So if I had another couple of fields I just don't want all these commits to go to waste of, well, I can always just roll back my changes, reset the branch. I'm not going to push it. I certainly don't have to merge to master yet. So let's go to this community page model. We got some intro text. Comes with the title. We got these events. I populated the context of the yearly meetings. But let's add a couple hard coded fields. page hmm. okay so I know these are constants I can rely on them there in the code so I don't need to create a placeholder what I'll do is call Community. Oh, what do we call it? Resource index page. That should only have one. Max count one. There should only ever be one community resource index page. Now, since it's not, I'm not creating it in code, I can't really get a page reference to it arbitrarily. It's kind of created at runtime in the database. But Wagtail does have these choice, these choosers, and I want, this is an image chooser, but Wagtail has a page chooser. So at runtime, uh, not only do I need the page chooser, but uh, I need a foreign key. I'm just going to see if they have a good Example, so I can copy and paste. Yes. So you create a foreign key to the Wagtail Core page model, which is fine. I think you can even filter like what uh, page types are allowed. Perhaps in the page chooser panel. Yeah. So let me. That copy and paste is fine. Community resource index page, so. And that needs to come up. So field definitions definitely come up by convention at least. I don't know if it's a requirement, but they come up before the panel definition because you have to define the fields before you can use them in a panel. So that makes sense. Cool. My bot's going to every 15 minutes or so post something there just for what it's worth. Not trying to spam, just trying to, uh, 
let people know that there's a bot here. You can issue some of these commands, interact with the feed. I should actually mention, and the, I have another one that mentions the highlighter, the Twitch highlighter. Okay, so we've got a multi-field panel. Where should this come in the editor? Let me double check here. I mean, more or less, it should come in the order that it should display on the page. So after the year, after the upcoming events, more or less, than the yearly meetings here. If this works out, I might be able to apply the same kind of pattern for the yearly meetings. But let's take a look. Image chooser, upcoming events is right there. All right, so. Top level related. What would be called this? It would be called community and so we can copy and paste that community resource index page. The only instance of it. migrations migrate and move it oops sorry for the noise there my teapot was hooked on the microphone cable all right try not to do that again more messages below Keep an eye on chat. So let me know if you got any questions or comments there. I do like the Ask Me Anything style hangouts. All right, so are we editing this page here? Let's see, now I need to run it. My teapot is now bumping my finger. Um, finger bump my teapot. Community resources, resources index page. Choose a page. Here's index page. And essentially, there it is. Now, the reason for all this is again, this resource, community resources index page is a page instance defined at runtime. And now that I've got a reference. An association in my community page model I can refer to that in the template as this Concerned about is how to pass the argument. How to do a sub route. I can just do this. <laughs> it's not very elegant. Oh, movers match. This is the Wagtail helper page URL. The URL is the Django helper. Page URL tag expected page update got community resource index page. Mm. Right, right, right. Because right. it's a string. It previously was a named route.
Is that a page instance? Did I not save it? some parameter in there. You know what? I know what's going on. No, no, no. Page URL community resource index page. Should work. are really bafflers. I'll try without an, the suffix right now. Community resource index page. Just see if it's got a title property. Okay. Page URL tag expected a page object. I've got an empty string. Oh, totally. I got a prefix with. So, firstly, I'm in this iterator. No, 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 I'm out of that. So, that's cool. But yeah, it's got to be a property of the page. That's the deal. So, I don't need this anymore. So, there's no kind of context variable called community resource index page. Unless I did like a width page around this whole thing. I need to access the property of the page directly. Go, cool, cool, there we go. Yep, and actually, oh darn it. Now I need to leave this hard coded for right now. Hmm. That's the trade off. Let me see. So that works. If I were to do allow this to be changed, it's all hard coded, so I think just kind of Slash, it's that sensitive. Oh, I see. You can't have a. Oh, it's. This is going to be a mysterious one, but all right. It comes with its own trailing slash. Mm -hmm. 
know what happened? Oops, wrong button. So I didn't hard refresh this. This is working now, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, boom. So essentially, I'm having a hard time articulating this, but um, I'm trying to minimize the hard coding, but to a certain extent, I definitely you know, expect certain things to be present. And the layout is relatively fixed right now for this time being and maybe, you know, for the longer duration. Uh, we want yearly meetings, quick organizations, online worship, friends everywhere. That's the fixed layout until uh, Mary Klein says otherwise. And at that point, I'll have to come back in and edit the uh, templates. That's just the way of the, the way of the gun. So that means these expectations, you know, I can move them by copy and paste and whole thing. Let me give myself a little white space for readability. Um, now the second part of it though, if Mary wants to edit, you know, this, she can't do that. Without editing the template. So that's hard coding the template too. I could, you know, add that as a another property of this page, though. But essentially, what we've got so these yearly meeting descriptions they come from the content. Certain headers are hard coded in there. Button text is hard coded in there. But I am given intro text, so I might as well just put two more text fields, I think. Since we're all in the same model, then it's, it's quite all right. Online worship intro, community directory intro. So I'll go ahead and commit these. Trying to move as much of this into the hands of the editor as possible, but acknowledging that sort of like one of the design, uh, they call it the Zen of Wagtail, is that the best tool for a developer is an IDE or code or something like that. Is in a wagtail. So just acknowledging that I'm going to have to, you know, write some of these templates. See, I should get information out of an editor, editor's head and into a database as efficiently as possible. So that's for like managing bulk content. But the best user interface for a programmer is usually a programming language, meaning, you know, I'm going to have to do stuff like, you know, changing field names and managing the overall templates here. I'm cool with that. So, and yeah, there's definitely some manual work with Wagtail. It's not WordPress, although it is designed a lot like WordPress. And right now I'm wearing the hat of a developer, so I shouldn't be focusing on content too much. I think I'm going the right direction by moving this content as a field of the model. So those are the justifications for these decisions I'm making. I wonder if uh, Twitch, does it support Markdown? No, that'd be cool. if I can format those messages a little bit. Okay, so let's get back to this thing at hand. Events image, community resource index page. So underneath the community index resource page, online worship intro is a rich text field. Give 
community directory intro. I can make my changes, dude. Okay. Some ADD kicking in. yet because I will use that markup but apply from a field get the get the data from this field um, these two fields actually Another thing I'm applying here, sort of a, I don't know if it's a design, uh, it's just design constraints, basically. Code should go over there. Essentially, you know, give the content editor just enough flexibility to change the content. add this to the table uh, sorry the fields to the table but not so much flexibility that you know um, we end up with sort of structural sort of things going on and this is you know I don't know it's just tro uh, having tighter structure like enforcement through the template and allowing the editor to really just focus in on doing their work and hopefully it looks good and we can tweak the layout together but they shouldn't be doing the the, the editing of the layout through the UI um, you know unless there's some course you know move this block above that block sort of st stuff which we might actually go into in the future so let's get these uh, fields we're in the community page yep Yippers. And I might just do it. I guess this multi field panel approach is okay for these several fields here. This is a little bit confusing, but it, it is correct. This needs to be an array though, the first thing out of the box. Whoops, not that. You know, I might as well just actually just let it do that. So parentheses, array, oh, oh no, no, no. I have this Nordic keyboard so my fingers have to do these gymnastics. I still haven't gotten used to it. So we have page chooser there, comma delimited. Uh, now this will just be a field panel, two of them. For these new fields, online worship intro. And why isn't black, or maybe black's gonna format that in a second. Home. Black, where are you? Well, Python. Oh, I just limited the template real quick. Yeah, this will make my uh, template a lot easier to read too from a developer standpoint, not having the hard coded text. Wrong one. 
yeah, I should be consistent and allow all these intertexts to be changed. Directory intro, community directories. I uh, should be community directories. Damn it, Jim. mentioned it do Quaker organizations intro that way all of these texts are configurable to the UI oh, I think I got a text message okay uh, one moment let me make a call sorry I'll be right back Okay, cool. I got butt dialed. No problem. Okay, so we're very close. We're almost here. <clears throat> we are where we are. make these titles um, also template variables later right now I just want to make sure that we're being internally consistent with the um, terminology Quaker organization is the name or is one of the options in the enum 
so to speak, the field options, the allowed options for the contact type. So yeah, we're, we're being internally consistent. I think consistency is a really important aspect of development. It's a way to save confusion, just using the same terms, same words for things throughout, uh, from URL uh, arguments to you know, enum values in the database, just keeping, keeping it consistent. So you're gonna have to like think so hard. Does this mean this in this context? What does this mean? All right, so click here. And then the intro text. And also, you know, even when doing copying and pasting and stuff, the consistency pays off uh, because you just gotta change a couple, couple of things. So we need this full string here, full field. And in a way, uh, they're in, you know, a predetermined order. We've decided at least that they should be in this order, so it may be natural for them to appear in the UI, the editor UI, in that order. So we'll grab some boilerplate here. Um, maybe I'll group those together their own multi-field panel. So I can just do this basically, comma, and delete them from here. In which case I don't need a multi-field panel. I don't know what would be natural. So I'll just put a page chooser panel there. Group those three together, see how they look. We need to run that migration though, I think. Manage, make migrations. Migrate. Run server. <laughs> I've changed all my models three times, three migrations. So now we edit. What do we got? Introduction, upcoming events, community resources index page. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Give it a nice title. Something like hmm. something like yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what it would be. <clears throat> Intro texts. For now, and I don't like this community resource index pages, plural, dang it. Takes a list of fields. Oh, and it's heading. But anyway, that comes after the, the list. And I'm going to do the indentation this way. With this, and this, and that. Heading. to make my migrations now again yes okay 
So it even migrated the data. That's interesting. 10, 11, 12. Wow. Can't believe that. Quaker organizations intro, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know. These probably shouldn't be rich text fields. I'm probably giving the editor a little bit too much, sort of. Well, they might want to bold or italicize, but at least I, I can figure out later how to not let them do headers, embedded videos, images, and documents. Right, because that could just throw the whole thing out of whack. Nonprofit organizations. I think I'm really done with this routable page thing. That worked. Quaker organizations. Online worship. And community directories info. Publish changes. View live. Let's see what kind of errors it gives me. I think this is the migration. Didn't really actually honestly, completely, totally, correctly migrate. Clear that. Choose page. The data. Save. No. We're so close. We're so close. Wagtail core tags. What do you mean? typo boom okay so cool cool these are rich texts rich text how do I get on a Nordic keyboard to the pipe It's singular. Online worship and community directory are singular. What's up here? Community directory directories. Dude. Yeah. This is where I'm gonna lose some of the consistency where I'm using a plural, but in the data model it's singular. Not a big deal though. These are lining up. Gregor Organizations works. Online worship, looking like it works. Friends everywhere, okay, not quite. But close, pretty close. Community directory. So if we just check our model, oh no, that's actually working. I haven't added anything. Mm, another problem. What 
There's not really anything here to edit, but the wagtail, little wagtail is gone. My constant companion. Art. What am I doing? and stuff out. Publish. View live. Friends everywhere. Dude, it works. Oh, man. All right. What are we at? Two and a half hours. I think this is a really good place to stop. Uh, it's actually a pretty big accomplishment. We've gotten through this much where there was a lot of uncertainty. And man, this community directory has come very far in just the last seven days. We got events, upcoming events, nice layout. Uh, all of these have a, con oh, this one doesn't have consistency. Yes, it does. It just doesn't have descriptions. Yeah, I can add those descriptions in later, but basically they're all using list groups, so it is in a way consistent. If I add another one here, or here, since I'm here already. Oh, where are we at? Okay. Resources add root community resource. Copy link address. Community directory publish. I really gotta work out. I gotta put a title on there, but uh, ooh, it didn't work. Community directory. All right, we now have two community directories. Community. Friends everywhere. Oh, there it is. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at online worship. Yeah, so it's consistent. It's functional. The links work. Coming soon. It's not even live. Okay, well, it's another. It's not. Our, it's out of our jurisdiction. With this cool way of uh, browsing the content. In a subsequent um, streaming session, you know, maybe I'll try to combine these resources, contacts, and events under a. a kind of like a subheading, something like that. Uh, we do have a little bit more work on the community section for sure. Um, got to figure out how to do document management, photo gallery, epistles, and minutes. Um, <clears throat> whether or not we're going to be doing those in Wagtail or how to, how to proceed with that. And I think this last section is going to be kind of a static thing. I might experiment with this dream field where you can just add a generic card with a title link intro text and image if that works that might change the whole way I approach this page where all of this could be stream fields because the pattern is the same and if you had a button it uh, you put the button text and um, I would just have to re assess how I'd handle these. But anyway, that's for another session. Uh, again, this is a prototype website. We're going to make some mistakes where you might have to undo some things. I've already had to re-design um, a few features. It's not a big deal. But we do have some big ambitions. Uh, the Drupal site we're porting from has quite a few more features than this community page. We've got Memorial Minutes. Um, they're relating to contacts and meetings. We've got a bookstore that has like the e-commerce component, uh, including shipping, you know, maybe calculating shipping and pricing things and tracking orders. Uh, that's going to be a big one. We've got this magazine, which we've gone on the initial pass. We've got the magazine uh, initially working, but we don't have the subscription model. So we need to subscribe and, and donate uh, and probably create a generic contact form. So yeah, we've got quite a, quite a lot of, uh, 
stuff in front of us on the runway. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and commit this and push these off, off stream. I appreciate everybody's time for watching. And uh, again, thanks to the people who participated in chat. Metal Storm, I appreciate your advice helping me get through a, uh, kind of a problem I had earlier about how to how to convert these from um, kebab case to snake case. Level two, learn for life. Good seeing you again. Reconquistio, it was good to uh, have a brief conversation about window management, uh, window managers in Linux. And uh, if you're checking us out on uh, YouTube, feel free to leave a question or comment down there. I'll try to respond uh, pretty promptly. All right, well, thanks to you all for hanging out and viewing this live coding series, uh, creating a website from scratch with Python, Django, and Wagtail CMS. Have a great day.